This video is brought to you by Ace of 12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hello, this is my first tutorial and I'm going to be teaching you how to do Hello World two ways in MS-DOS batch programming. Um, you may already have seen some of my tutorials, but they were without voice recognition because unfortunately all my microphones were broken so I had to order a new one which took quite a while to come because of Christmas but anyway now I've got it and um, okay so let's get on if you haven't already got it I suggest editor or JEdit they're both good because they highlight operations you can also use Notepad Pro which costs money to buy or you can um, just download it for the trial version which is 30 days I believe and there's also Notepad 2 which is pretty much the same as Notepro Notepad Pro but a little downgraded or you can simply use Notepad which is just as good as any of them you know you can use any of them really if you want um, any of the downloadable ones though just search Google for Syn, Jedit, Notepad Pro or Notepad 2 but for this tutorial I'm going to be using Syn, so I'm going to open it there, create a new empty file, OK, and here's the default um, default file. Now for the first thing we're going to be typing msg, which does actually stand for message box, not just message, in um, virtual basic, in visual basic I mean, and basic, you do actually type msg box for message box but in batch it's just msg. Then you've got to type an asterisk and then hello world. So this, when we've got to save it first, save it to desktop if you want, and then let's name it hello world dot bat. Can be lowercase or uppercase if you want it to, but it's got to be bat. Then save it there. Okay, just close this. Now here it is. Here's our hello world.bat. If we open it, do you see that thing flash there? That's the uh, DOS window uh, processing the command. And then it processes it and it gives us this message box which says hello world. So that's the first way. And then the second way is if we just eliminate this. Echo is what you think it is. It echoes something. And here you see um, Sin has highlighted the command. So that's why it's useful, I find. Anyway, Echo echoes what you type. So my name is Acid12, as my username is. It's going to echo below that as my name is Acid12. So if we save it there, and then move this out of the way. We open that. Do you see that window flash there? That was it executing this line of text. But seeming as there's only this line of text, it echoes Hello World and it immediately shuts off. And that takes the blink of an eye, literally. So if we want to see it, we've got to type something like pause, or you can do um, greater than sign and then type null. Let's just stick with pause for the moment though. If we uh, type in pause, it's going to come up here, echo hello world, which is this command we put here, and then it's echoed hello world there, and then it's going to type in our pause command, see there, pause, and pause means you have to press any key to continue, so you press it and it will shut down because there's no, no more lines of text. Now I'll just show you pause null. It does exactly the same thing, but it doesn't show press any key to continue. It just has it there, like that, which is um, useful if you want to pretend you're making a fake hack or something. <laughs> it's a bit silly though. Anyway, that's the way. And as you can see, all this stuff comes up. So you've got our command there, our command there as well. But you can get rid of all this simply by at the top, you want it at the top otherwise um, 
it will only occur after where you've written it. You can type at echo at echo off. Save that. It's highlighted everything as you can see, which is why I like it. And once you type at echo off, just displays hello world, which is what we asked it to echo, and then it does pause null without displaying the line of command we wrote. So that's how you can um, do hello world two ways with MS DOS batch programming. This has been a tutorial by Asset12 over and out.